Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter for 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop. So today I'm super excited to be doing this project. This is going to be, uh, we're folding up so that it's a milk box. And I want this to be a keepsake, like a holiday Christmas uh, keepsake where you write notes to each other or you capture like what was your favorite moment of the holiday. And so then every year you have like a time capsule for each milk box. And I don't know, I'm just super weepy these days and my daughter is six. And so I wanna just capture all the memories. Um, let me show you what a finished milk box looks like. This, and this is what's so cool about it. This is a milk box that I did. Um, some of you may know this one. This is a book called The Smart Cookie. So it's my daughter's book for her book club. And so we did, you know, this is like a, um, a the cookie and it's in the bake shop with the awning. So you can see the milk box can take on any personality that you want it to. Um, you could do it where you each one of your guests that come over, you can give them a milk box filled with stuff like this one. So this one holds, I mean, it holds quite a bit. When you make it really large, uh, this is almost three by four inches. So it holds like, this is a ton of candy in here. And all it is is one dab of glue along these tabs right here. This is just folded and it stays, it's pretty secure, but uh, my whole point is that it can take on any color, any theme. And so if you did this every year for Christmas, then each year you can take out like on your mantle or something, it could be a box for each year. I don't know, it's just this time capsule thing that I'm just in love with. And I'm gonna prove my point this year. I just, you know, at first, if you followed the design space tutorial, cause I think many of you guys have your Cricut, um, I had a totally different color theme, but then I thought, oh my gosh, there's so many pretty colors. Um, I don't want to stick with just your regular Christmas stuff. So I did a white box. I went with beautiful paper colors um, and just went with it. Now, in case you're wondering, this, uh, this paper right here is the Basil Swiss Dots, which um, if you follow along on my projects, you know it's one of my favorite papers. I love basil in general, but I love the Swiss dots because it adds just that extra little thing. I don't know if you can really see it on here. Um, just little mini dots. But anyway, um, I like, you know, 80 pound paper and above for this. Um, so, and I'm actually not even sure, this feels kind of thick. It feels like 80 pounds. So I'll have to look afterwards, but if it's 65 pounds, then that's even better than you know you can go 65 and above. I have a feeling that this is 80 pounds though. So, all right, all you need to do is, it's so simple. I did two different designs. You can see they're very similar, right? Like they both have the same, I did the same um, height and everything. So they both kind of look the same, just a little bit different. This one, I bought the template from Nilmara Quintella on Etsy. She's just one of my favorite designers. So whenever I need a template for something, I do tend to go to her because I trust her. Never met her, don't know her, <laughs> but I trust her work. Um, this one was on Design Space, so I thought I would give it a try, so that way you guys have it too. But if you go and Google milk box templates, you can, print it and use that as a template and then trace it and cut it too. So you don't need a machine to do this. Um, and you can add stickers to it. I mean, kind of like what I was saying with this, you can add um, any kind of theme to it that you want. The important part is you can cut out these little notes and have people write in there. Or you can even add like little pictures on here. I don't know, it's sort of like a, um, like a scrapbook in the form of a milk box. That's kind of, that's, I don't know. I'm just super excited about it. All right, so let's fold this. This is the one that I know. This is Nomara's file, okay? So what you wanna do is anywhere that you see the cut lines, the score lines, you wanna fold it ahead of time so that when it comes time to actually like fold it into place, it already has its crease and it's kind of like ready to, you know, to be folded. Um, See, there's one more line running through right here. And then, and then we'll just start gluing. So the gluing is only one piece for the box itself, and it's this tab right here. It's to close up and make it, um, and give it 
shape. So, and this is the first time that I'm using um, Basil Swiss dots for the actual milk box. So, I'm really happy with how um, sturdy the paper is. All right, so here you're gonna add the glue to the temp uh, to the tabs. And you can also find the Barely Art glue on the 12 by 12 website, which I love their glue. I love the precision tip. Um, it comes out just perfectly. It gives me just enough time for it to dry. I mean, you know, before it dries. So I'm not waiting forever, but it gives me just enough flexibility to still move my parts around. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna put this back on. So it doesn't dry out on me. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Everything lines up pretty perfectly, so you know exactly where it should go. And I just hold it in place. And I'll hold it from inside too, just to make sure that the glue is, um, is anchoring itself, I guess, adhering to the right parts. and then holding it down at the ends. Now, if you're making a ton of these, what I would do at this point is I would grab two paper clips, stick a paper clip here and a paper clip here, and move on to the next one and glue the next one. Um, but since we're just doing this one, it's not gonna take very long before it dries. All right. So the way you fold the bottom is it's really easy. The one with the square, you're gonna fold down first then the two sides go in and that you know what i did not fold that before so the two sides go in and it creates this like little pocket for this one to go in so this one is going to go in and tuck right inside then you're just going to pop on the inside your hand on the inside just to grab it and there you go now this side is, the tab is popping up just a little bit, so I'm just gonna hold it down while it dries for a few more seconds. But you see, look at such an easy, such an easy template to use. I absolutely love it. Oh, and I think you're starting to see the Swiss dots more there at that angle. You can see it a little bit better. Okay, so while this is drying, oh, and let me just show you. So the two sides with the cutouts, without the tabs up on top. You're just gonna fold it in. And, oh, did I not fold this well enough? You know what, I didn't. So this is an easy fix and I'm glad it happened while I was on here. <laughs> just undo the bottom box like this. As you can tell, I've done this before. <laughs> I've made that mistake. Um, and you just wanna fold it so that it's a little bit easier to fold once it's um, once it's like in place. Okay, so now let's go back and fold it again. Okay, so if you remember the square one down first, the two sides go down and then you tuck this one a little. And then see how it pops up a little bit? But you just stick your hand, hand in here and just push it back down and there you have it. Okay. So now this should be a little bit easier to fold. Oh my gosh, it's still not easy to fold because I forgot to fold this side. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can still do it. So these two go in like a milk box that you would have gotten when you were in school, like at the cafeteria. Let me see if I can fold this one in. There we go. And then the two holes are up on top, which they didn't pop out. We'll put a string in and you can do it. Let's see, super cute. Okay, so it's our white milk box. Um, and let me show you what the cards look like. So these are the little memory um, holders, whatever. Um, you can just see they go in and then you can just fold it up so you can make them even bigger if you wanted to I basically made it just slightly smaller than this size right here so um, you could also maybe even put in some like I don't know your favorite ribbon from that from that 
um, holiday or just something. It fits, it holds so much that I just, I love it. And it's so cute that you can just take it out and display it again. Um, okay, so here is my version of a, I don't know, colorful Christmas this year. I think that we should always put the date on there or the year. So I went with 2021 in blue and gold. Here's my hat, so you can see that. So I'm just gonna glue everything together right now. Right now, um, the Christmas tree is two layers, so I'm gonna put that on there. You can do so much with this. And see the glue? I love this glue. Um, this tip is gonna be thin enough that I can go up here and get the little parts of the hat. And a lot of times, this will still get on my fingers, right? Because I'm just a messy crafter. Um, but I like that it dries quickly so that I'm not um, basically contaminating all my other papers, which I tend to used to do, which I just swore off glue completely. Um, I like to use double-sided tape or, you know, the tape runner. But these days, I do like to use glue because it's fast. Um... You know, I could just go on there really, really quickly and then move on. So I do like that, but um, now I'm, I'm good with my glue. So here is my hat, purple and pink. I know, totally not, uh, not Santa hat, but this Santa is going to be wearing that. So it's going to be on here with the date, uh, the year here, and then on this side will be the tree. But again, you can do so many different things with it. I was thinking like... Um, a wreath or if you're one of those um, die hard like Christmas people with I don't know like a different tree for every year like a different theme you could do it to match your tree um, if you change things up you could do it to match the you know like whoever's coming over like if you have like a big family uh, vacation I mean just so many so many things I just love it You'll have to put in your in the comments what you think of this idea, because I'm in love with it. <laughs> but um, would love to see and hear what you guys do with it. Um, so, all right, there is the tree, totally unexpected. Now, with the tree, you can put it on foam tape so things aren't so flat. Um, you can also do one of those. Um, I love using wobblies these days. Let me show you what that looks like. And it's just like a little springy thingy, right? So if you put it on here, then your thing, oh, like my like my cookie. It kind of moves around. So it's more than just foam tape. It has that little spring to it. So it moves like that. So you can put that on your tree and so that your tree will like wobble. Um, so with the wobble, if you end up buying these, these are on um, Amazon. There's a full flat side. That one goes on the actual like board or whatever. And then this part is what you stick your little piece on. It's just, um, it just gives you more support that way. Now, the other thing with the wobblies though that I've noticed with my projects, they don't stick all that well. So there's stickers, but like I, so I end up putting glue on it. So I'm gonna put glue on it on this side, let it settle and then peel off the adhesive on this side to put my Christmas tree. And I just, I put the glue, sometimes just depends on my personality and my mood for the day. <laughs> um, sometimes I put glue on just half of it, so I let the, the still, there's a sticky part and then there's a glue part. Um, Sometimes I put it on the whole thing. You just never know what you're gonna get with me. <laughs> All right, so that's one side, right? It's getting to be so pretty. All right, on this side, let's put our hat. I'm just gonna put foam tape on this one just so that it pops out. And you know, same thing with foam tape. I'm always worried that it's not sticking enough. So I will put a little bit of glue down on this as well. So here's the foam tape. 
So I can tell you I've done the milk uh, the milk boxes and we've given given them away with treats inside and everyone's eyes just kind of light up. It's it's a cute, it's unexpected. They look adorable. Um so I oh shoot, did I peel this off? I'm losing my head. I did peel it off. We just did that. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. And then we'll put the numbers down. And Ah, I can't pick it up. And I'm going to put it on here without gluing it first, just to see what my um, spacing should look like. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Um, I find that if I glue the middle ones, then if I need to do adjusting, I can still adjust from the outside in. Um, so that I can still maintain a little bit of like evenness if I needed to. But if I do it from left to right, then if I need to make any adjustments, one side is going to look a little bit more lopsided. So that's why I do it this way. And I apologize. Oh my gosh, the dogs are going crazy right now. Um, all right, so now we have the one and the two and it's going to look super, super cute. All right, let's get this down and then we'll put the ribbon on. And if you wanted to, you could put rhinestones, confetti on the box, kind of like I did with the sprinkles. And you know, this would be really cute for New Year's too, like capturing New Year's resolutions. Um, or New Year's like wishes for other, <clears throat> for other people. Um, but here you go. All right, so, so cute, right? So here's 2021, our Christmas tree. You can put all the names over here. There's so many things that you can do. I'm gonna do a little bit of twine just so that you can see what it looks like. Um, actually, no, here we go. So I have some twine. I'm gonna cut this and show you what it looks like boxed up. Oh, and then we're gonna fold up the other one to see which one is better. Or if it's as easy, I shouldn't say better. <laughs> I'm sure they're both great. <laughs> All right, so. And you can even so you know how I, I did a straw with that one, which I'll show you in a second. You put a candy cane. You can do um, like the hot chocolate little things if you're giving these out. So you can see how it totally changes look and feel, but you could do so much with these. So see, I added the sprinkles to this one, but I mean, from this side, it's like a gold feel to me because the, of the yellow and the green and then the twine has some gold in it. And then you flip it to this side and it's just colorful. <laughs> it feels like my daughter would go crazy over that one. All right, so let's move these aside. Now that you've seen it assembled, you've seen the little cards, you can write whatever you want on there. It would be so cute. And let's move this out of the way. This one looks very, very similar. So I'm just going to fold it. Oh, the, the difference too is this one. Namara's files where you fold it, those are cut lines. These are scored. So I can tell you right now, it's a little bit more difficult to find your fold on the score lines but I'm gonna fold everything right now. Make sure I do it unlike last time when I did 
thought I folded everything, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to see what I'm folding here. Okay, these, so these have all four tabs. Okay, so we're gonna fold it across. Yeah, I know, I'm so biased, right? I feel like uh, going in, um, <laughs> I'm struggling folding along the score lines a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, all that's folded. So there are score lines. Okay, hold on. We have fold the tabs where we're gonna glue it. And then there's another set of that are folded here. I think this one's gonna be tough because remember how much I struggled with this part up here I think I'm gonna have a hard time with that on this one because I can't get to it to even fold it but that's okay all right let's see what we can do <laughs> so this is the one that is in design space okay um, so we know we still need to put glue here on its side and kind of press down to um, get it to dry flat. Okay. Oops, sorry, it's out of camera. All right. So on this one, I'm gonna assume the same thing, right? Here's the more square one, and then the two sides, and then this, oh no. So I'm guessing the two sides go down first. No, okay, going back to what I thought. The square down first, the two sides, and then this middle piece gets tucked in. A little bit more difficult to get in <laughs> there we go all right so that's in it's stable all right so here are my two sides so it's gonna go in like this oh it did not it was not hard okay there we go so this one, you would glue these two pieces together and these pieces in, and it would sit like this. Or you can use a hole punch to do the strings. So you can see the boxes are kind of similar. I used 12 by 12 inch cardstock, and so this one's a little bit smaller, but I maximized the design. So if this is as big as it can get using 12 by 12 cardstock. All right, so now you have your two boxes. Let me actually, you know what? Let's glue this and see what it, okay, so you're gonna glue, I would glue the two pieces here as well as the inside. Um, so the only thing with this one that I would say wouldn't work for the keepsake is 
once you glue it like this, obviously it's in, right? So if you don't want to open it or you don't care to, you can always go from the bottom. But this is more like I would glue this if I was giving it away to somebody. Then they can pop it open like a regular milk carton. Um, but I, you know what? I like the idea of having the holes because then you can open and close. I feel like once you open this up, like you ruin the, the container. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope it was fun and that I gave you some ideas. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And um, we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.